Hi, everyone. All right, it is time for the second part of my best of the year series that I call the Jammy Awards since my old screen name used to be Jam Beauty 89. It's kind of nostalgic for me. So uh, today we're going to talk about my absolute favorite makeup products. These are more like high end products. I did do a drugstore version of this video, which actually I was gonna do all in one video. It proved to be too much for one video. Honestly, it was a little overwhelming. <laughs> so I figured I'd split it up and so that's what we did. So if you wanna watch the first video in my best of the year series, I'll link that below if you wanna see my drugstore picks. Those are my absolutely top favorites, continually repurchased. I feel like I'm talking weird. Do I sound weird to <laughs> you? I get like hyper about these videos, but I also get nervous because they're like, they're like the culmination of my year. You know what I mean? So let me take a breath. Let me take a sip of coffee. I just brewed some fresh and I'm going, I'm going black coffee today. I don't even know who I am. Ooh, baby. So you'll also get to see me applying as many of these as I could. So you'll get to see them in action. Let's dive in. All right. Where do I want to begin? So let's start with something that I think has won in previous years, but I still love it, you guys. And I feel like I'd be lying if I didn't mention it in this video because I use it every single week. And it is the Super Goop Glow Screen. Still my favorite. It is the trifecta. It is a glowy primer and moisturizer and sunscreen all in one step. It's so easy, it's pretty. So even though it's pricey, I continually repurchase it because I just love it. So that is one that I, I love. Let me show you a little swatch of it. It's SPF 40. I've worn this, um, like a nice good layer of it, but I've worn this in Disney World and I didn't get any sunburn and I am very fair. I burn easily. I had no issues with that. I didn't get like new freckles. You know, for me, that's like a big, <laughs> I get freckles when I'm in the sun. And so when I've worn enough protection that I'm not even seeing like new freckles pop up, that's a big deal. And so I, I just trust this stuff and I love it. Look, mm, yeah, it's pretty underneath makeup too. Since I'm down in our like living room, I'm using a towel and I laid out like one of our larger kitchen towels and I am absolutely ruining this towel with this makeup. Don't tell my dad. Just kidding. This is my house. I'm the dad. <laughs> what am I talking about? I just think about when I was a kid and I would like try to paint my like nails on like sitting on the floor and my dad would be like, Jessica, put a towel down. You're going to ruin the carpet. And of course, back then I'm like, dad, oh, and now I'm like, oh my gosh, I was insane. Why was I doing that just on the carpet? <laughs> my dad was right. Full circle. I have now become my father. <laughs> All right, so the other thing, this was new to me this year, and it totally, totally surprised me. This is the Say Super Glowy Gel. Nope, I knew I'd butcher it. Glowy Super Gel. I was close. The words were there, just the wrong order. In fairness, Glowy Super Gel doesn't sound right. Like, it doesn't sound like it's in the right order. I feel like it should be like Super Glowy Gel. Anyway, this stuff you can use as like a mix in with your foundation. You can use it as like a little slight highlight. You can put it on as a primer, which is how I use it. I'll put it on a really thin layer. I'll show you me applying it right now. And then I'll go straight in with my foundation and it just looks like the perfect amount of glow. It is always so beautiful. I love this. This one that I have here is a mini size they sell, but they also of course have the full size, which when I run out, I will buy the full size again, most likely. So absolutely a fan. I really have not used it very often as just like a highlighter. I feel like, I don't know, I have other products that are better at that than this, but beautiful as a primer. I'm going to do lips later, but I do want to pop in and mention this bad boy. Ooh, I try not to mention too many things that I tried out just in the past couple months. I think that's what a lot of us here do because if it's a super recent find, I don't know. It's like, well, it hasn't really stood the test of time. I don't care. This one is so good. I'm mentioning it anyway. The Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. So I'm going to talk about another Lawless product, assuming I don't forget because I need to grab it for my purse. Hold on. My pants are unbuttoned. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to remember. I was like, did I? Yeah, they're unbuttoned. Okay. I'll remember to talk about the other Lawless product, but this stuff is, oh man, I'll sit down to do my makeup and the first thing I grab is this and I just... Ooh, douse my lips with it. It feels so good. It's slightly plumping. I am very partial to the birthday cake scent. The cherry vanilla is really good too. I have both, but this one, mm. if you buy one product from, <laughs> from this video, let it be this. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. It's so good. Like I get excited. The way that I get excited to have my first cup of coffee in the morning, I get excited to sit down and put this bad boy on. Like it is that good. Please get the birthday cake sent. You can thank me later. So face wise, this is one that I really hadn't fallen deeply in love with the Kosas face product, like a foundation, I should say, ever. When this came around, I tried it kind of like, uh, maybe I'll like it. I loved it. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. So this is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. I have the shade B12, if you were curious. Mm, it's like medium coverage, maybe medium to high. You can kind of build it up a little bit. It is so skin-like, like it looks, it still perfects your skin. Cause I felt like a lot of Kosas products I tried would make your skin look like skin, but it didn't have the coverage level I wanted. This one does, but it still has that finish that is just so perfect. It's exactly what I want. So this is one that I was so happy to discover. This shade is a really good shade match for me. So anyway, absolutely love this. It is so stunning. If you are in need of a new foundation, this is so good. I'm kind of weeding out a couple more products that I've mentioned in previous years that I'm like, do I mention them again? I might, we'll see. Wait, this might be new to me this year. I'll, let me talk about it. So this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. This stuff, I, I always talk about the concealer, which I will be talking about today, but this, I'm pretty sure I didn't try maybe until this year. It is absolutely stunning. It is so, so similar, I will say, to the Kosas. So I feel like, honestly, you could go either way if there's a better deal on one versus the other. They are so similar looking. They both have a, the same amount of coverage, a radiant look, but not too radiant. You know what I mean? So I feel like if you were to ask me to pick a favorite, I don't know that I could. I really don't. They have the shade 130 Opal. I feel like these are both really good shade matches for me. I think this Shiseido might be a little bit better. Not that that affects you at all. <laughs> Just reporting it. Anyway, both so good, both so similar. So if one had a better sale, definitely try it. These are like, like top to your holy grail, like travel with these, trust them so much kinds of foundations. I also fell in love with a lighter coverage product. This is from Tower 28. It's so dirty from being in my makeup bag. I've traveled with this a ton. There's Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. This stuff is gorgeous. I would be curious. I have kind of normal skin leaning dry. If you have oily skin, have you tried this and how do you like it? Because I do feel like because it is more of like a sunscreen tint, it can be like, I feel like I need to set this with a, with a powder when I use it. And so I could imagine that if I had oilier skin, that it might take a little more work to get this to work for you. So let me know if you have oily skin below. So if you're oily skin and you're curious, we can see if there's any comments um, that talk about it. But anyway, I really, really like it. Again, it's light to medium coverage, but it does have some coverage. I feel like a lot of these kinds of products you put on and you feel like, well, I it looks like I didn't really do anything. This looks like you've done something. Like it does have some coverage. And I think that's why I've fallen in love with it because it does feel like I've done something. So I love it. I like that it's a squeezy tube, which is this little point. So I can really, I can do it straight on my face, however you want to do it. Um, I just think it's fun to do it straight on your face, but it's so, so pretty. And again, it makes your skin look like skin, just slightly more perfected, but I do set it with a powder. And I have the shade 15 Melrose. So still, still loving the Shiseido Concealer. This is their Synchro Skin. So it kind of goes with, like it's like the similar, same line as the foundation. I've repurchased this. This is a new one. I absolutely love it. There's something about this that it just sits so well on the under eye. And like, I have fine lines. Those aren't going anywhere. So I feel like this is very friendly to that. You can still see my fine. I mean, nothing's gonna just erase them, right? But I feel like it looks nice on my under eye and that's why I've loved it. I have the shade 103 Fair. I think after applying it today in this lighting, I think I could go one shade lighter and it might look even better. But I mean, I have no notes. This stuff is just so beautiful. I'm just at my fairest right now in the middle of winter, you know? Love it. It is easy to apply any way you want, whether it's your finger, a brush, a sponge, you just, this is one of those concealers that you just can't go wrong with. And that's why it is my holy grail. I do have a, a drugstore one that I like 
I think maybe more. So if you want to know which one that one is, definitely go check out my drugstore video for the best of the year because I think I might like that concealer more and it's like $7. <laughs> it's so good. Like I'm finding myself reaching for the drugstore one more than I am reaching for this. This I'm pretty sure was an award winner last year as well, but it is the Bare Minerals Concealer. It's like their loose powder in the shade Bisque. So I use this, you know what? I never use this on its own as a concealer, but I think you can. That's the idea. I actually use it to set my concealer and then it adds a little more coverage so it's even more perfecting and smoothing. So that's what I'm wearing on my under eye today with that Shiseido one. I just love it, you guys. This is one I've repurchased. I I miss it when it's like not with me. Like if we travel and I don't bring it, I'm like, oh man, like it just is that like final step that really makes it look so nice. So highly recommend. They have obviously different shades and I am a big fan. Like, you know, when you have that like a uh, shiny like line where it feels like it's emphasizing under your eye, you put a powder like that on it and it just like flattens all that out. It's so nice. My favorite powder foundation. Okay. The e.l.f. Camel Powder is up there, again, from the drugstore video. This one is very similar, and I love this so much. So this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is the second one of these I've owned. This is like the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one, I think, actually has even more coverage, but this one still has a lot of coverage, and I just love it. I, I used it kind of in my T-zone today. I feel like you can use a light amount, and it smooths things out, but it can still let your skin like shine through. But you could also go in with a little bit more of a layer and really blank it out. So I like that it's kind of more versatile and it comes with this like little powder puff thing where you could really get into it. This is something I like to keep in my purse too, if I know I'm gonna need touch-ups because it does have that sponge and it's got a really nice mirror. So big fan of this. There's a reason I bought it again. This may be, the winner, I know I said if you buy one thing, buy that lip mask. I still stand by that. However, this is my favorite. Let me look and make sure I'm not wrong. Yes. Ooh, okay, there's a couple. But this is like my favorite find of the year. It's the NARS Bronzing Cream. Ooh, what in the heck is in this stuff? I have tried a lot of cream bronzers, you guys. I would venture to say most of the ones that are available. <laughs> High-end drugstore, all of it. And I do like some, oh, I should have mentioned the Revolution one in my drugstore version. So I, and I'll link this below. I really like the Revolution Cream Bronzer a lot. I'm actually really mad at myself for not, it was in my bag and I think I just forgot to pull it out. But anyway, that one is really good. And so you can save money, but this one is even easier to apply. There is something magical about this formula that you can apply it with a brush, you can blend it with a sponge, your fingers, it never looks bad. Like I read a comment one of you guys wrote a few videos ago and you were like, we were talking about this and someone said, the thing about that bronzer is you can't screw it up. Like no matter what you do to this bronzer, it will always look amazing. And that is exactly it. There's something about this that it always looks amazing. I wonder too, if because it is closer to my skin tone, if that's a part of it, that getting that shade that's closer to your skin means it's not quite as stark, but it's there. Like it's just beautiful. I like applying it with the Haley's brush. I'll link this. This is like the ultimate brush. I use this for foundation, for primer, cream bronzer. Like it is just one of those brushes that's weirdly so good. So I'll link it. I get a lot of questions about what I'm always using and it's always this. Anyway, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I have the shade Laguna 01. All right, another kind of bronzer contour product that surprised me is the KVD Beauty Liquid Gel. It's their Mod Con Gel Liquid Effect Contour. This stuff is so unique. It is one of those products that you could go absolutely ham with because it's kind of like transparent in a way, it blends in really easily. So again, it gives a really similar effect to what you see on my skin now where it's you can tell I'm wearing bronzer or contour or whatever, but it's not like so in your face and harsh. Harsh is a good word. Neither of these are harsh. And I think that's what I love about them both. This I like to apply directly to the face and then just grab a brush, honestly, probably this one, and just blend it in. It looks so beautiful. I will say out of these two, 
this one is friendlier to the makeup underneath. Like it doesn't move it as much. I feel like this moves it a little bit. So just something to keep in mind, but I love them both. A new love this year is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blushes. My two favorite shades are Provence and La Piscine. Provence is the one I wear the most. That's what I'm wearing today. Again, you can go ham with it. And because it's kind of got that transparent base, it really blends in easily with your fingers. It can look really natural, really pretty. And they have lots of different shades. So if you can find one that is closer to your skin tone, like this one is not that much darker. I think that's another reason I like it, kind of like the bronzer. It can look really natural, but still really bring out that natural color to your cheeks. So I'm a big fan. If I were choosing between the shades, I would choose Provence. So I just, I love it. I usually apply that with my fingers, but I will sometimes grab a stipple brush or something and just kind of stipple it into place or my sponge because that's another really easy way to do it. When Benefit launched their new line of boxed powders, but I call them boxed blushes because most of them are like a blushy type shade. I was so excited. I've tried a few of them. I'm hoping to try more um, soon. This is their Peachin box blush. All of them have a very slight scent. There is a scent, but I really like it. I love this shade. It is like the most perfect classic peach shade. I still have not gotten my hands on the other shade I wanna try, which is called Willa. It's like a really pretty pink, but it's like a blue tone pink. Anyway, this is so beautiful. I just like this line. I've tried a couple other shades. The shade Starla looks a lot like the Dallas blush they used to have. So if you've been looking for like a replacement for that, I own it. I need to compare them because I own both. I haven't done that yet, but it looks like a very similar vibe. So anyway, Big fan of these. They sell a lot of their shades in a mini size. I have minis of a bunch of the other stuff. So if you didn't want to commit to the full, you could totally do one of the minis. And I just absolutely love it. I actually did a sponsorship with Benefit. This is not sponsored. Uh, previously about their minis because they really do have a lot available in that mini size. I don't have a highlighter. <laughs> I have not worn much highlighter this year, you guys. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because of the products I'm using. I, a lot of times there's already a glow and I just haven't been adding it. Um, I did have a drugstore highlighter favorite, but generally as a rule, day to day, it's the step I've been skipping. And if you'd asked me like a year and a half ago, if I would be like not using much highlighter, I would have never believed you that I wasn't, but I just, I don't know. It's kind of naturally happened that I, I still love highlighter, I still use it, but not as often as I used to. So I really just don't have a high-end highlighter favorite. No surprise, this eyeliner is my favorite, the Makeup by Mario, the shade, the Perfect Brown. I have a liquid liner on top, but this I'll use in my waterline. It does not transfer down. I still have not found a liner. I think I found one, but it's not any cheaper that does what this does. And so it's just amazing that it doesn't transfer in the waterline. It stays in place so well. It is always sold out, this particular shade, because the other shades are not the same. The black one totally transfers. This one does not. Please, Makeup by Mario, please restock the Perfect Brown and send me a hundred of them. <laughs> just kidding. I think I bought every single one of these. I, maybe the very first one was sent to me in PR. I just keep rebuying it when it's in stock because I love it. But I also love that it has a brush on one side so you can easily kind of smudge it out. And this one smudges really well when you're first putting it on and it's still wet. I love it. Two mascaras that just swept me off my feet this year. <laughs> the Benefit Their Real Magnet. It's the mascara I'm wearing right now. This stuff totally surprised me. It's got a silicone wand. It's really sturdy, so you can really get in there. I love that it adds volume, especially when you do a second coat, but it really separates them. So if that's what you're into, you want separated volume, you will love this so much. So I'm a huge fan. Can't believe it took me this long to try because I remember hearing about this a while ago when it first launched in, um, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but a while ago and I dragged my feet and I'm glad I finally tried it because it is so beautiful. And I feel like it lasts all day. Like it does not, the curl doesn't fall. Like my lashes look like this at the end of the day. And my other love, the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Tubing mascaras are amazing because all you need is hot water and they just, the mascara just comes off so easily. So if you're prone to losing lashes, you will love a true tubing mascara. This Tarte one is absolutely stunning. I've been wearing it virtually every day, kind of off and on with this. I love the removal. I love how curled and volumized. I mean, it looks really similar to what you see here. Yeah, I mean, they honestly have a really similar look. So it just depends on how you want to remove it. I feel like the Benefit stuff removes it really easily too. Is this one meant to be kind of like a tubing mascara? 
I'm starting to wonder because I feel like it comes off really easily too. Anyway, I can't find any info, but it's really, it's been easy to remove as well. Eyeshadow palette wise, uh, one that I'm gonna give a quick shout out to because I think they're discontinuing is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'll pop a picture on the screen. They were like all, literally a bunch of you guys got it for $15 because they were like clearancing it out everywhere it seems. So I don't know if you can still get it, but I love that. I rediscovered it this year and I've used it oh so much. <laughs> but beyond that, I really love the M Cosmetics little six pan palettes. These have been like the star of my year. I've loved for years this one in Divine Skies. It's got peachy pink colors. I love it. But they recently launched more and today I'm wearing Da Vinci. I'm wearing this shade right here all over the lid and then I use this to blend it. These are exactly the kind of eyeshadow formula I love. They're easy to put on with your finger. They blend really easily with the brush. Like they're just gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. And so I also have Rodin, which is Rodin. <laughs> I'm butchering it. Anyway, they're very similar. Like I don't think you would need both. Like you can see how similar they are. Um, I can't pick a favorite. I kind of just open both of these and just use them together. But I love that these are amazing quality. I love how small they are. Um, I'm just finding myself using big palettes less and less. I've bought a few really lovely ones this year, but I don't find myself gravitating towards them as much because I don't use that many shades. So that's why I think I've just grown to love these so much. I also absolutely could not do this video without mentioning the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Now this has been around for a while, but this particular shade, it's what I've got, the glitter that you see on my lids, I wore this all holiday season long. Every little Christmas event we went to, this was on my eyes. It's the shade Wanderlust. And this has like one of those like iridescent like qualities where it pulls so many different colors, but it has actual glitter in it, but there's no glitter fallout because it's suspended in this liquid. So I'll just get a little bit on my finger and tap it on and it always looks so pretty. And I'm always asked what I'm wearing on my eyes and I'm always so excited to tell everyone what it is. So this is one of those products that you'd have in your makeup bag and it just is your go-to for that kind of like glittery, pretty, festive look. Mm, I love it. Like if your birthday's coming up, putting that on your eyes, be all cute for your birthday. I also have been using the MAC Single Shadow in all that glitters so much, so, so much. And this is a shade that's been around for forever, but using it as a single shadow, I've never really thought about until Amy here on YouTube, I'll link her channel, she's my buddy. She uses this all the time and it is so, so gorgeous on her eyes. And so I've just been putting it all over the lid, blend it into the crease, single one shadow look that looks like I tried way harder and it is such a pretty, pretty finish look. So this is one that like, inevitably I will, I'm almost hitting pan on it, I will buy again. And honestly, like when I'm getting ready in a hurry and I want a little bit of eyeshadow on, that's always the one I've grabbed, always, because it's so easy. My favorite lip liner is the Rare Beauty line. This is the shade Worthy is the one that like I keep in my purse and I use with a lot of different things. I just like that it has a lot of different shades. The packaging is pretty. It's just the kind you just roll up so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. It has the little shaper on the bottom like most do to kind of get it back to a point. It's just easy, you guys. It's creamy enough, but it's not so creamy that it gets outside your lines. So that is definitely a favorite. Worthy, like I said, is the shade I use the most. And with that today is this Makeup by Mario Rosewood Glow. I don't know what this is actually called. Oh, there it is, Plumping Lip Serum. It's so juicy. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you guys. It's so, so pretty. I know this sold out for a while. Hopefully it's back in stock. I would buy this again. This lives in my purse with this. They're so pretty together for just the everyday put together look, but I'm not like, as it wears off, I'm not worried about how it looks cause it's not, you know, like a bright red. I will talk about a favorite bright red here in a second. But yeah, this is just an absolute top tier, top tier lip combo. Love them both so much. So if you need a new everyday lip for your purse, these two together are perfect. So the Lawless Forget the Filler Gloss, I know this is in so many people's favorites this year. This is so pretty. And if you do have lined lips like I do, and I know a lot of you guys do too, this plumps just enough, but also the glossy look to them. Those two together, it plumps it and that gloss makes your lips look so youthful and beautiful. This is the shade Secret Magic. It is really pretty. I was wearing this alone in the store the other day. And because my lips are naturally kind of pigmented and they're not like cool tone pigmented, they're more like warm tone. This, it kind of looked weird on its own. I like cherry vanilla on its own on me. This would look really pretty if you have more cool tone lips, but 
This is magic on top of like anything else. I'll put a little bit on this just so you can kind of see. Again, this one smells like birthday cake. I'm clearly into that. Look how pretty, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I love it, so find a shade you like. The formula is so amazing. Again, this I had to go dig this also out of my purse. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is my new go-to red. Again, for all of the festive gatherings we went to, this is what I was wearing. It is the NARS Power Matte Lipstick specifically in the shade Dragon Girl. This is that red. Do you know what I mean? It is that red that you will own and you'll be like, when I wear red lips, this is what I wear. And it stays in place so beautifully. It's not super dry and gross feeling. It's easy to reapply. Like for me, it stayed so well for hours. I'd be drinking hot cocoa. We were like at a show drinking hot cocoa. It would stay really well. The middle would eventually wear off like with any lipstick and I would just go in the bathroom, fill in the middle. All the rest was perfect and I don't typically use a lip liner with it because I'll just use the edge of this and line my lips with it and it stays so beautifully. So highly recommend. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous formula. The shade Dragon Girl is the perfect red. So this is a newer launch for NARS and it is 10 out of 10. Like I'm so excited to have a go-to red again. I feel like it's been a while and this is it. Mm. That's it. That's everything, you guys. So I'm planning to do a lifestyle version of this, like skincare and some other beauty stuff, but also like fashion, household, kitchen, all kinds of stuff. I hope you'll stick around for that. I hope you'll subscribe so you can catch it. If you still have not watched my drugstore version of this, I hope you will watch it next. I'll link it down below and right in the eye to make it easy for you if you want to click on that here in a sec. And I love you guys. Thanks for being with me this year. It was quite a year. If you wanna hear a little more about my year and what went down, um, cause it was definitely a year for the books for us. I will link that video, which is kind of my 2022 reflections video. Get ready with me. Just chatting about life, right? <laughs> if you wanna check that out, I'll link that as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.